Wave. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning from St. Ignace, not Mackinac City. Yesterday did not go as we planned. That's okay. We still had fun and we're going to share that with you. But it was colder than we thought it would be. And so we did not end up staying in our tent. Uh, yeah, our tent. We bought a tent and we intended to use it on this trip. And we're hoping that we still might. And we're going to share that with you when we do. But it was so cold, we just decided to get a hotel. And the best deal on the hotel was in St. Ignace. And today, we're taking you farther north. So it just made sense to cross the bridge already anyways. So today we're gonna go find what has for a long time been my favorite lighthouse, Whitefish Point. Uh, the cool thing about Whitefish Point is there is a shipwreck museum there and we're not gonna be able to see that today because everything's still pretty well shut down. But we can take you to the lighthouse and tell you about it. And then we also are hoping to do some exploring it to Kwamanon Falls and we'll take you there. We'll see you later today. Hey, we have made it to Whitefish Point. I just got a text from Verizon that said, welcome to Canada. So that tells you about how far up we are. This is one of my favorite lighthouses, always has been. Now we can't go into the shipwreck museum today, but once that opens up, highly recommend it. A lot of fun, a lot of history. Well, let me show you around. We'll get you some more views. We're gonna go check it out. The kids are excited to get over by the beach. Come on, let's go check it out. One of the neat things about this lighthouse is there's just so much to do here. Once you buy a ticket for the museum, you can go into the actual lighthouse. You can actually, you can also explore some of the other things. Just wanted to give you a quick look a little bit closer. We are kind of inside now of this little complex of all the buildings. And if you were to pay for a ticket, you could go into the Shipwreck Museum and you could also see the lighthouses. I do believe we'll have to check that out. I'll make sure to let you know for sure what the tickets cover and how much they are. I've been in here before, but because of all of the shutdown, nothing's open right now. There is a ton of history packed into these buildings. So if you want to, you could spend a good portion of time just uh, checking out all of this stuff. So I guess we're going to check it out.
what would you find up there, guys? Huh? What'd you find? This is a bird observatory. Look. Even it's locked. Even it's locked. Yeah. Pretty views out here. Whitefish Point is just about an hour north of St. Ignace. I think it's well worth the drive if you are staying in Mackinac for any period of time. And then on the way back, we're gonna catch Tuquamanon Falls. And so you could just take a day and explore a little bit of the UP and it's well worth it. <laughs>